These are my top 10 life-changing healthy tips. I've been doing these for quite a while now and honestly, they have been a game changer. I look at things differently, I approach things very differently and everything that I'm gonna show you today, they've become habits. Now, first off, we're gonna be talking about kickstarting your gut health. This is something I have only kind of recently become passionate about only because I've recently done more research into it. But prior to that, I did start this quite a while ago and it has become a habit. Now, the first thing I do is take my probiotic and prebiotics. I take these supplements every morning. I am not the person who is going to sit at home kind of fermenting my own foods and things. I wish I could and maybe I will get there one day but in the meantime I need to rely on supplements so I'm keeping it real with you guys. So I take Nature's Craft prebiotic and probiotic supplements. So basically what this does, what prebiotics and probiotics do are they kind of increase good bacteria in your gut. This is really good for maintaining kind of healthy digestion. So this is something I take in the mornings. I've already taken my probiotics this morning so we're going to put this aside. I don't want to take too many. By looking after your gut what you're doing is you're kind of helping everything inside to kind of break food down in the right way. So it's just working properly. I don't want to like overcomplicate it, but the easiest way to look at it is you are looking after your gut so that your gut can look after you. And if you don't look after it, and when I say don't look after it, that means kind of eating overly processed foods quite regularly and just not giving your gut what it needs to, to stay healthy itself so that it can keep you healthy. Now, the next thing that I tend to do is take kefir. And kefir is something that honestly, I didn't think I was going to like but I absolutely love it now. Kefir is something which is also, it's like live and active probiotics. It equally does help to look after your gut, but the great thing about it is it's low in lactose. And I take like probably, I don't know how much this is, but not too much every day. This one is actually the, it's a chocolate flavor. When I first took it, I was like, this does not taste very chocolatey to me, but now I absolutely love it. So I drink this and this basically is packed with like minerals and vitamins. This can also help improve your your cholesterol, like lower your blood sugar. So it's generally very, very good. So I take a glass of this, kind of like mid-morning. So this on top of like the probiotics and my supplements that I take, this is a more natural way of doing it. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking supplements. I just think it's better than not doing anything at all. Now the next thing that I take is collagen and I actually mix in a scoop of this into my coffee because it doesn't taste of anything. The one that I take, I'm gonna actually give you the link in the description. It's by Valio and it's a marine collagen. So it has hyaluronic acid, it has acai berry in there as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically make my coffee here. There's so many benefits from having collagen and I think it is quite a big game changer when it comes to your health in general. So I love the fact that I have this little routine and I do this daily and I know I'm get, getting my kind of like full dose of health, like good health. I'm actually looking after myself and that's what makes me feel good about it. Collagen is packed with like loads of amino acids. I'm gonna give you a super easy way to understand how amino acids work. They basically form proteins in the body, which then in turn help to break down food help to like grow so you're basically your body repairs itself better so it's really important to include collagen I'm just gonna hit the start button on my coffee now I've got my coffee here and what I'm gonna do is just literally just put a scoop of this in one scoop is all you need and it literally does not taste of anything and I just feel like I'm drinking my normal coffee but I know I'm getting my kind of dose of collagen too which I love now I've got my coffee it's hot so I'm gonna keep this and like have this in a little while because I have a client coming over but before she comes I want to make sure I actually do get my dose of like something to eat because I haven't eaten yet because I intermittent fast so it's I've been doing it a bit longer Longer today because I finished eating at like 12 midnight yesterday because we had a guest over. So basically this is usually like my first bit of food for the day and it is also kefir but this is actually a Greek style raspberry yogurt and what I do is I just have a couple of spoons of this. I mix in one spoon of this strawberry, well sometimes a little bit more, like strawberry kefir yogurt. Basically mix this all together. Then I have some almonds and basically what I do, these have been washed. I just kind of like cut these, kind of like kind of like chopping them up or just like big chunks. This is my daily thing, by the way. Like this isn't something I just do every other day or when I remember. It's become such a habit that I just do it every single day. And I love the fact that I know I'm looking after my gut. And although I may not be perfect, but I know that every day, the first thing that I put in my body is just goodness. I'm looking after my gut. It just kickstarts the day for me, really. There you go. 
It's honestly so tasty. And I love that this is the th first thing I eat because I just know that, okay, you know, my body's kind of like empty. How am I going to start it off? How am I going to kickstart everything? And it is literally with this kind of combination of prebiotics, probiotics, kefir, collagen. And I know that all of that is really kind of setting the tone for the rest of the day. Next up, it is get your sun exposure. Even if it is just walking out on the balcony or taking a 10 minute walk in the morning, honestly, it wakes you up for the day. You're getting that vitamin D. Obviously make sure you don't wear your sunglasses because you really want to soak in that vitamin D. And it just makes you feel happy. I feel like it just releases happy hormones. Sometimes there have been days where I've just not gone out. When I have ended up going out the next morning, I'm like, oh my God, this just makes you feel good. It just sets you up for the day, reduces stress. It's something I feel like everyone should do. Just make it a healthy habit and it will honestly make you feel better. It's so easy to take a break and think, let me just pick up my phone and scroll through social media. It's probably the worst thing that you can do because that's not actually taking a break. You're not letting your mind actually rest. And instead, sometimes what can happen, we end up getting back to work feeling deflated or just feeling like, you know what? That person's on holiday. I want to be on holiday. You just feel bad about it. So get up, do something else. Don't jump straight to social media. Don't jump straight to your phone. That isn't taking a break. You're not relaxing your eyes at all. Get up, move around, make a coffee make a hot drink whatever you want because you're actually taking a break and you're moving your body and you just feel like you've just literally switched off for five ten minutes and it feels so much better than scrolling through instagram and seeing unrealistic posts next up is fruit snacking i recently started doing this and i absolutely love it because rather than go for just stuff which isn't going to be good for me or like loads of chocolate which is usually what i tend to go for i've started snacking on fruit it makes me feel so much healthier and it is healthier and what i really do love is snacking on low sugar fruit so this is a low carb fruit as well low sugar it's good for you so strawberries are my go-to snack it's what i have i'm not gonna lie i think i have it every single day sometimes i have it for dessert sometimes i have it like mixed in with my yogurt and like now i'm just having it as a little snack because i'm just a little bit hungry and i need something to eat so this is what i tend to go for so i would highly suggest adding low sugar fruit into your diet because it honestly does change the game it just means that you're not going for the obvious things like chocolates over processed snacks which are the worst thing ever now i know that i can snack on good stuff practice being grateful i feel like this is something that a lot of people overlook sometimes i've done it myself too but honestly it's part of my healthy tips because it's something that actually gives me a healthier mind and it reminds me to stay grounded and remember the things that are really important as well and sometimes we achieve things in life and we forget later on we forget because our goals are always changing and you forget that you know what i once really really wanted this and i need to be grateful for the fact that i have it whatever it may be in life it could be people it could be you know someone like Nico as well who I am super super grateful for like I can't imagine my life without him and I am super grateful for him every single day it can even be things like while you're cooking while you're cooking while you're eating just little little things just be grateful for those things because you're in a position that a lot of people are not in and I have to keep reminding myself of that even though we have things that we're aspiring to do and to achieve you've got to always remember what you have as well reading now this is something that honestly i couldn't suggest enough i feel like this completely changes your mindset and obviously it's not down to just reading it is down to what you're reading too i like to set aside just like 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes every morning to just read my book. I can just read however many pages that I can read within that time, whatever time that I have spare. Maybe you haven't got any time, just make sure you read one page and that's enough. But in itself, reading is so therapeutic, it's free entertainment. It also is kind of like exercising your brain. You know, you're learning new things. I always prefer to read kind of like self-help books because I feel like, and business books, because I feel like they're motivating. They help me to learn more. It helps me to actually apply that wherever I've learned into my own work and my own business. So you can choose whatever it is that, you know, takes your mind off of things or also helps you to learn things. I would really love to kind of get into fiction, but I really have no idea on what type of book to choose. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments box below. There are so many other benefits. It kind of improves your general knowledge. It also helps to kind of reduce stress because you're kind of like only thinking about what you're reading. You're not worrying about anything else. You're not stressing yourself about other things that maybe have been on your mind. So it's a way of for you to just like your mind to just escape. I think taking a bit of time out in the morning or wherever you, whenever you have time is a great way to just switch 
switch off. I would highly recommend it. Next up is electrolytes. Now, this is something that I did start a while back. And honestly, I found that it's a complete game changer in how you feel in general. Now it promotes your sleep. It also helps with immunity. It also helps to stabilize your blood sugar levels, keeps you hydrated, obviously. Now, if you do work out, I would honestly suggest having electrolytes after your workout or during your workout because you lose like so much salt while you're working out. So this helps to kind of replace that too. I use the Hamantra sachets because they're just easy. They taste good as well. Like this is a berry mix, but honestly, this has really helped me too because it genuinely has helped my sleep. It keeps me hydrated. And because I do intermittent fast, that can sometimes lead to kind of like lack of salts in the body. And this helps to kind of just keep it at the right levels. The next tip is water. Now, as much as there are probably some really obvious health benefits, I wanna go through the ones that I know have worked for me. I mean, first off, I aim to drink roughly around two of these, if not more. And I love the fact that this bottle, I can screw the cap so that it doesn't come out but equally when i leave it open it's just like a magnetic lid as well it's just easy to carry around i feel like that having this type of bottle with me has helped me to kind of like ensure that i do drink the right amount of water if i didn't carry this around i would not be drinking enough water so this in itself has made such a big difference to my water intake things like my skin is clearer drink when you're thirsty but you'll find that when you carry this around with you you actually end up feeling it more whereas most of the time when you're thirsty you don't actually pay attention to that and because you don't have water in front of you you don't go off to pour yourself a glass of water obviously i know that you guys are going to know the obvious things that water is good for but you know it also flushes out the toxins in your body it also like clears your bladder so i feel like there's just so much benefit that you can get from water as well and plus because i drink so much water i'm not drinking other things like you know juices and things like that i am very strict with making sure that i only drink water the only other liquid that i drink is like a coffee which I have one a day. Sometimes I'll have two a day, but really, honestly, I, I try and keep that at a limit. But I only drink water and I don't drink fizzy drinks and I don't crave it because I'm drinking enough water that kind of satisfies me and I don't feel like I need to have drinks which are just full of sugar. So that in itself has been a massive health benefit for me. My next tip is to eat healthy, but start eating healthy at home. So it's really about getting the right ingredients and surrounding yourself with healthy options so that when you do decide to eat something, you're not tempted by anything kind of bad. That's something else that I have started doing recently. And honestly, it has helped me so much because I'm not tempted to reach for, you know, like Nutella or something like that. So I kind of try and keep nice stuff sitting around. I intermittent fast, so I'm not really eating until lunchtime, but this is actually my husband's breakfast and I offered to make it for him today just so that I could kind of show you exactly like what type of healthy options I'm talking about. Even if it is like, you know, good quality granola, like healthy, real food, you know yogurt that's you know good for your gut kefir like all these different things are going to be great for your gut and also a good option for like snacking as well so i would suggest keeping healthy things around you because it honestly does make a huge difference like having crisps like chips and stuff sitting in the drawers is not really going to be a great option and honestly if that stuff is in the kitchen and i'm having a day where i'm really feeling like eating something like that and if it's there I'll eat it. But if it's not there, I will I will not go out of my way to go out and buy that product. So it's so much better for you if you just surround yourself with healthy options. And honestly, it is going to help you in the long run too. Because once you keep doing it for, you know, at least a couple of months, it becomes a healthy habit. And if it's a habit, then it becomes a lifestyle. My next tip is to do one small thing for someone else during the day. Even if it's asking someone how they're doing or smiling at someone, I feel like these little things, they're selfless gestures that can make someone else feel so good. And in the end, you feel good about it too. It could be anything, like even making your partner a cup of tea, which I am just heading over to give him now. And he's looking at me like so surprised, but I didn't say that I make it every day. <laughs> Sometimes when I go out on the street and I'm taking Nico for a walk, you know, I say hello to someone. I ask them how they're doing. I spark up conversation sometimes and that makes someone feel good. So I'm not saying go out and buy things or anything like that. Although that would be nice buying a friend some flowers, sending some flowers to someone. Anything that is within your capability to do, do that and it will make you feel better as well as making the other person feel amazing about it too. 